All right. Take two. <laughs> I, I didn't really get a lot of the points. I, I, I've recorded, this will be my second time recording this. I didn't get to make a lot of the points I wanted to make in my last video. Primarily because I got off tangents on other things and didn't make them. But, all right. To Doom Annihilation. All right. The second worst video game movie to ever have Annihilation in the title. The first one going to Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which was just a smoking turd. And that came out when I was a kid and we didn't like it. We were children and we knew that was trash. Uh, anybody who could have seen the trailer for this before it came out would have known that it was similarly trash. Now, I've been out of town a lot lately for work. And I was messing around on Twitter because I really wanted to do a review for this movie. But I couldn't justify giving six bucks to rent this Doom Annihilation. I just... I couldn't do it. And I said something similar to this on Twitter when, um, the writer and director as the name he's using anyway. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure that that's who that is, but I, why troll around and try to sell this movie? If you're not, I mean, at least he's trying to be engaging with people. I'll give him that. Uh, chimed in to tell me that if I was a fan that he, And it was totally worth six bucks. Um, it wasn't. I used my Google Google survey money to rent this while I was just hanging out in uh, Florida during the week this week. And <laughs> his, uh, I toward the end of the movie, I fell asleep. I had to get up and rewatch the last. 20 30 minutes of the movie when I woke up that's it's not very it, it wasn't holding my interest like I was hoping it would primarily because it was disappointing the hell out of me but we'll get to that now it is my belief before I get started with this that it is not hard to make a good doom movie it's not anybody with a decent budget and an understanding of these games can make a decent Doom movie. But the things that you need, it seems like they want to fight you about putting it in there. The first thing you need is a uh, Doom guy, Doom Slayer, Doom, whatever you want to call him. He's had like 50 million names. Uh, we'll, we'll just, for the purposes of expedition, we'll, or exposition, we'll call him the Doom Slayer. You need the Doom Slayer. You have to have that. And it has to be the Doom Slayer from the game. You don't need to gender swap it. It doesn't need that. Now, it's not to say you can't have a badass female character in the movie. I don't have a problem with that. I grew up watching Alien. Okay? Ellen Ripley was the shit. So, before anybody wants to get started in the comments with misogyny. No, not at all. Okay? But this is what you need. You need the Doom Slayer. Secondly, and this is something this movie didn't really stick with, you need, at the very least, five monsters from the game. At least five. And I'm talking about, this is talking about a game that has a large beastie area, okay? This, you've got zombies, imps, mancubus, uh, cyber demon. Pain Elemental, Cagco Demon. You've got a wide array of things that you can use. And if you've only got an hour and a half, two hours to tell this story, you only need five monsters. And the main thing that they need to be wading through is zombies. The, I mean, it's it's this movie writes itself if you take the source material. Honestly, I would use mostly zombies. zombies and imps up to the end of the game or end of the movie i'm sorry or toward the last 20 minutes throw sprinkle some cadco demons in there maybe throw a, a mancubus or some mancubi in there i think that's how they say it and then 
end it with either the cyber demon or the spider mastermind. That's what I would have done. I didn't get a budget and get and and get told to make this movie, so here we are. But I mean, and it's easy. I'm not saying do it with just the Doom Slayer running around ripping these things in half and tearing them apart and blowing them away with guns. But you do need that. And it needs to be disgusting. I'm talking about it needs to be levels of just insane levels of gore in this movie. But you can have a group of survivors surviving at the forefront and kind of put Doom Slayer in the background doing his thing. And you can ride out that way. You can have an engaging movie. This this movie just completely ignored all that. To, to start off, you the Doom. If you're watching this movie for the Doom Slayer, you ain't gonna get it. There, the Doom Slayer is not in here. Instead, you get Joan Dark, who picks up a lot of the old story beats from the old Doom or from the original Doom game. And I'm not talking about like Doom 2016. I'm talking about like way ass back when I was a kid. Uh. It picks that up, and, you know, she got in trouble. She's been sent to Mars because that's where they send people who mess up because nothing happens on Mars, right? Right? Wrong. And they send her with her squad, and um, it's... Um, I watch a lot of... Uh, uh, what is diversity. He used to be diversity in comics. I think it's comics matter now and i think the term he used was burger king kids club and that's basically her team is the burger king kids club it's not it's they try to shoehorn as much diversity in there as they can fine whatever i can deal with that they're not gonna live anyway some of the some of the best horror movies are people or horror movies that where you just sit there and you can't wait for some of those people to get slaughtered and that was, they had that going. Now, like, nobody on Jones' team likes her because of them all getting sent to Mars. And they had sent this, her, Jones' love interest, who is like the most weak beta male they could find to cast in this role, uh, up there with them. And she spends like 30% of the movie ignoring his ass. They get there, all hell breaks loose. Um, they they use Bertruger from Doom Three, and he's more or less like the not really the anti. He's like the secondary antagonist. We'll say he's the one that's kind of leading everything. Spoilers, if you hadn't figured out by now, I'm probably going to put it in the title. But spoilers, they. Um, He's the one letting the demons out. The demons are running around, basically eating people. So, or it's it's. That's one of the the biggest gripes I had with this movie. They use zombies and they use the imps, and that's it. I think she gets to hell at the end and there's like a super imp to fight. Um, I don't even think there was a quarter of Doom's weapons represented in this game. Now, they always put the BFG in there and it's always the big fucking gun joke, of course. Now, if you're going to have the BFG in there, that needs to be like the Hulk of guns, okay? you Just like it was in the game. If you've got a room full of monsters, you pull that trigger, you don't have a room full of monsters anymore. You've got a room full of biological matter sprayed all over everything, and that's fine. This, not only do, not only does the gun not kill more than one monster, it doesn't reduce them to goo. And that was really disappointing to me. Now, like I said, I understand you working with a budget. But that's really not, I don't think that really costs a lot to represent with computer animation now. It's basically room full of monsters and then not a room full of monsters. But I have no idea how budgeting for something like that works. So Now, 
you know, like I said, the whole overarching thing is, you know, if a Truger goes through, he gets turned into whatever. He comes back. He starts letting the demons out. And like I said, I say demons, but it's nothing but fucking imps and zombies. And I just, that was one of those things where I just kind of hung my head when that was all we got. You got no spider masterminds. You got no cyber demons. You couldn't even throw some, like I said, some mancubi or cadco demons in there. That's, I would imagine that's probably not super hard to do on a budget either, but whatever. Now, you know, <laughs> the Protruger character kills me because it's like, I don't know if you've ever seen Event Horizon, if anybody watching this has ever seen it. If you haven't, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, it's like one of the few Paul W.S. Anderson horror movies I can actually tolerate. But Sam Neill's character in that movie that's what Bertruger in Doom should have been. He's this terrifying entity toward the end of the movie, and you just didn't get that. He was just like, you know, he gets shot and he jumps back, oh, I'm a zombie. No. When Sam Neill got after Lawrence Fishburne at the end of that movie, that was some scary shit. And I think it was emphasized by the fact that he was doing it nude, which that added a whole other layer of, screwed up to that but that that's my go-to movie if i ever want to watch something that remotely reminds me of doom i watch event horizon because a lot of the premise is the same uh, it's not heavy on the action it's more heavy on the horror but i kind of like that now the whole setup for this movie is like like i said they're, they're trying to play on the goodwill that doom 2016 created and they completely squander it. I should have known, or I did know where this was going when Bethesda disowned it after the first trailer dropped. But, you know, I, I, I was hopeful. I saw the trailer and I knew it was going to be garbage, but there was a lot of misleading information that was leaking as the uh, movie was releasing. And it led me to believe that there was more going on with it than there actually was. And I was highly disappointed. So I think that's about all I'm going to say uh, related to this movie. I have, wow, damn near 13 minutes. I have went way longer on this than I wanted to. This movie's not worth a 13 minute video. But I appreciate you guys for watching. If you watched it and you enjoyed it, Good for you. If you've got an opposing viewpoint, stick it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. As uh, far as any of the rest of it goes, like I said, I cannot recommend this movie. Do not spend your money on this movie. It is a waste of time. It's just more Hollywood garbage where characters you love have either been gender swapped or wrote out altogether. But thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to pumping more movies out during the week or not more movies, more reviews out during the week along with some other stuff. But thanks for hanging out with me and I will catch you next time.